quick fixers, it is house tour time. I'm gonna be showing you all of the different areas of our beautiful home in a fun series of videos. Hi guys, welcome to my house. So when you walk into our home, the first area that you see is the living room. You'll see that there is a black couch. I've never had a black couch before. I've always wanted one. I just think that it's just really cool. It's sexy. I definitely wanted the style of our house to kind of describe who Corey and myself are as a couple. I feel like Corey and I are like young, sexy, and cool, right? That's kind of like how I would describe our relationship. So I wanted our house to be an example of that. We live such chaotic, crazy lives. I needed a place where as soon as I walk into the door, I'm like, whew, I can whoosaw. I can namaste. <laughs> it's very kind of monochromatic. So it has kind of like this monochromatic tone that flows throughout the house. I'm really into feng shui. I want everything to just flow. I want everything to have some sort of balance. Like if you look at the fireplace, you'll see that there are these cool black and white pictures. Instead of it just having like one photo, it's like two photos and then you'll see kind of like cute little chotskis or vases to the right of it, just so it creates some sort of balance. I'm also a true believer in just having some sort of greenery in the house and just trees and plants. It just really creates like a calming and a zen vibe. You'll also see there's this cool white armchair. I fought for that armchair, let me tell you. My husband, he's so funny. He really likes for things to be really spacious and not overly crowded. And he felt that that's all we needed in that room was that big couch, this cool kind of like marble coffee table, and that's it. And I'm like, no, we need another chair there for the, you know, like the balance, the feng shui of things. And he was like, no, 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 no. It's gonna crowd things up. I'm like, no, Corey, it's not, just trust me. So I actually got the couch without telling him. <laughs> But once he saw it in the space, he was like, okay, Tia, okay, I see. I see what you mean by that. Corey did pick out the rug. He wanted a really nice white rug just to kind of keep everything really nice and airy and have a nice contrast to the black couch. And I kind of fought him a little bit on that because I'm like, dude, we have kids, you know what I mean? There's Cree, now we have a baby. A white rug in the house is just not gonna stay white. But so far, pretty good. <laughs> The leather chairs. I love these chairs. I just love how low they sit. I love when furniture looks like art. And these two pieces of furniture to me, it's like art within itself. You know, you have the leather backing and then the leather seat and then you have the wood. It's just like, oh, they're just like so pretty. <laughs> One thing about Corey and I's style is we always like to bring the elements from outside inside. So you'll see a lot of woods in our house, you'll see ceramics, you'll see leather, you'll see plants. And that's just our vibe, you know what I mean? And, and if you look back at our daughter's baby shower, it was kind of like that as well. I feel like if I weren't an actress, I would totally be like some sort of hippie. <laughs> I totally would, I don't know. Like I'm into like essential oils, I'm into like organic things. Like I said in my baby's nursery reveal with um, Cairo, you know, she has like organic bedding and it's kind of like the same vibe in her room as well. That's just kind of like just who we are as people. Speaking of ceramic, in the living room, I definitely wanted to bring in the ceramic or marble aspect to our furniture, mainly because in our kitchen, we have this huge Calcutta marble slab. And I like bringing different elements from a room in another room. I like for my house to blend all together instead of like one room being one theme, another room being another theme. And I think that explains the whole kind of feng shui flow of things, because I go with the flow in life. And actually that's what this tattoo means. It is a butterfly 
and butterflies, they go with the wind as opposed to against the wind. So they just go with the flow in life. And that's just kind of like how I approach life, so. We did work with a designer and his name is Jake Alexander. I mentioned him in my nursery reveal video. He is unbelievable, he's amazing. I actually just found out about him on Instagram. I love design and I love homes and looking at people's furniture and homes and design, just all of that. So I stalk people, <laughs> I stalk designers online and I just came across him and I said, oh my gosh, I love this guy's aesthetic. Like he's so cool. I love his sexy, chic style. It just reminded me so much of like Corey and I and, and what we like. And I reached out to him online. I just said, hi, my name is Tia. <laughs> um, I would totally love to work with you. I was like, please write back, please write back, please write, please write back. And then I saw in the DM, you know, Jake Alexander. And I was like, oh my gosh, he totally wrote me back. He said he was like a huge sister, sister fan and he's a Brit. So he talks with an English accent like this. I know that wasn't terrible, but I will say, my husband is also a designer. Sometimes I like a lot of stuff, but he's taught me that less is more. You don't really need all of this stuff in your house, you know? And when you have just clutter in your house, your mind gets cluttered. So you'll start to see like in our house, everything is put away. Not a lot of stuff are on the counters. Everything is put away in drawers and everything's kind of organized because when we come home, it's calm and cool. That's just the way we are. The dining room is a place where I want all of my friends to just hang out, have a glass of wine, and play games. I throw a lot of parties, so everybody kind of just mingles there and hangs there. There's like this long bench, and I intentionally put that long bench there because I see it as a place where there's many people that can sit on that bench and just sit and talk and mingle. At my baby shower, a lot of people were saying, we were so close to each other, you know, a lot of the guests. And I said, yeah, I do that intentionally to um, get people to warm up to each other and just to talk to one another and get to know each other. So that's why I wanted to put like this really cool long bench there because it's not so formal where everybody can sit next to each other and just talk, hang and have a glass of wine. When you see dining tables, I love when the chairs aren't all the same. So you'll see that there's like this black bench, but then you'll see some other woven chairs. And I just love that because it adds character to a room. In that room, you'll notice this rug and it's a vintage Turkish rug. And it's so funny when you get these rugs, they're like one of a kind. So when you get them, they're vintage. So they have like a lot of like, when you shake them out, there's like all this dust that goes all over the place. But I just think it's just really cool because it adds some sort of history to your house. You'll also see in that room, one of my favorite pieces in the house, artwork. It's by Johnny Cheatwood. He is a really, really good friend of mine. He's actually my brother, Taj Mori's best friend. They've known each other ever since they were in I want to say middle school or even elementary, and they were on the same football team together. And then all of a sudden, Johnny just started to take off with his artwork. I said, I would love for you to do some artwork for our house. And he was like, really? Okay, I'm like, yeah. He did that piece and he did some other pieces in the house, but the thing that I love about that piece is it's kind of like the overall theme in the house, which is black, white, and just simplicity. We'll definitely eat in that room. Most of the time, we'll do it on Sundays. Sundays is a time where we all love to just get together, cook in the kitchen, and just have a great meal together. Or even like on Thanksgiving, we'll do the dining room in the kitchen area. But that area is just kind of like more of a laid back, chill, informal area to have dinner, lunch, or breakfast. So the media room. I've always wanted to have a media room come on, we're actors, right? My husband is an actor, I'm an actress, and just for some reason, I've always wanted to just have a big screen to watch television, movies, sports, you name it. We actually use it for different things. So number one, we'll go in there, 
We'll watch movies, we'll have popcorn, we'll have a great time, right? It's also a great space for an actor to study, to run their lines. So what we'll do is my husband, he'll sit in one of the chairs and then I will stand up, you know, where the screen is and he'll just sit there and read lines with me as if he's the casting director. So the color scheme in there, it's really, really dark. The blinds that you'll see in there, it's like a black velvet and then the color that we chose to put in there, it's kind of like this dark grayish color. We wanted it to be blacked out. So when you're watching movies or when you're watching the screen, it feels like a theater. The chairs that you see in there, they're actually lazy boy chairs. So you can recline and not only that, there are USB ports. So you can charge your phone in there, you can get on the computer in there, you can do whatever you want to do in there. That room is also Corey's man cave. So if I'm trying to look for Corey and I can't find him, I know exactly where he is. He's in that room. <laughs> he is in the theater room and he is just chilling. All right guys, so there you have it. I showed you my living room, my dining room, and the media room. I have so much more to show you guys in this fun, fun series. Make sure you follow T. Maury's Quick Fix and I'll see you next week.